Hey guys, Buffman Gaming back, bringing you another video for our weapon conversion series. And today we are taking the Odin and we're going to convert it into the Ash 12.7 CQB Urban Operations Combat Rifle, which is a Russian CQB rifle. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here is the finished product. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and strip this down and we'll build it from scratch. So the base Odin is essentially an Ash 12.7 already. What we're going to do here is make it um, more so looking like an Ash 12.7, then also optimize it for its role. So what we're going to do is skip out on the muzzle, and then for the barrel, we're going to want that short 420 millimeter barrel. We're going to click that one. So that's going to help us with our ADS speed as well as our movement speed. Cons are bullet velocity and bullet recoil, but we're going to make up for those in other areas. So we're going to skip out on a laser, and then for the optic, we're going to go with the APX-5 Russian holographic sight. So this is precision sight picture, also negatively impacts our ADS speed. The stock on this one, because this is supposed to be a CQB battle rifle, we're going to go ahead and do the FTAC XL Elite Comb. So this one is also going to give us a pro of the ADS speed, and then cons would be the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and click on this one this is going to be good for our cqc cqb combats perks we're going to go ahead and just skip these there is definitely fmjs is a viable option that, that i would recommend using if you want depending on how you want to use this weapon um, i personally do like fmjs because i'm able to get through walls and objects with this and and get people through through walls pretty easily which is definitely effective in a game Rear grip, we're going to go ahead and go with the stipple grip tape. This is going to help with our ADS speed and our sprint to fire speed. Ammunition, we're going to keep it with the standard 20 right now. This is, again, personal preference. If you're somebody that wants that 25 or the 30 mags, um, definitely go for it. You're getting this 12.7 times 55 millimeter ammunition no matter what. So that is a 50 caliber round if you are not aware. And then the underbarrel, we're going to go ahead and go... You can go with a few here. I'd say the Merc foregrip as well as the Ranger foregrip are all very good, depending on how you want to use this rifle. So it is actually pretty effective with hip fire accuracy, I noticed. So the one that we're going to go for this is going to be the Merc foregrip because it's going to help with our recoil control for that vertical recoil, given that it is a 12.7 or a 12 times 55 um, millimeter round. 12.7 times 55 millimeters is a 50 caliber round, so the muzzle climb on this can be hard to control. So this is going to give us some assist with that. So that's our five attachments for the Ash 12.7. Again, the only thing I would recommend changing here, if you want, I've played with a few different loadouts. You can put a tack laser on this, or even a five milliwatt laser for hip fire accuracy. Also, perk wise, FMJ. So you could forego the stock here and put on one of those two or even put on some additional ammo if you want but this weapon being designed for cqb urban operations this butt stock here is going to help us with that so this is our final product for the ash 12.7 cqb battle rifle designed for the russian fsb this is the final product so let's go ahead now and jump in game and we'll see how this thing handles with the recoil patterns with these attachments. And then also, we'll see how it handles against bots. Okay, so now that we're in game, we're going to go ahead and look at the recoil patterns on the Odin or the Ash 12.7. So, again, this is the base Odin rifle. We just... Put a different barrel on here and made it more of a CQB rifle, which is really what the Ash 12.7 is. So first off, what I'm going to do is we're just going to aim full auto at this and not control the recoil and take a look at what the recoil looks like. So let's go ahead and rip, let it rip. So you can see there it climbed almost straight up, goes a little bit to the right and then kind of came back, right? So that's your recoil pattern with the Ash 12. So now let me control the recoil and see what it does. Low on ammo. So you can see there, pretty tight. Again, some rounds can get away from you. It is gonna bounce being a 50 caliber bullpup rifle. But depending on how good you are at mitigating your recoil, 
you should be able to control and get these shots to target. The good thing is this is basically a two-shot kill. So there we go. Again, pretty tight. If you're controlling it, depending now this is all based on how you control the recoil. And then we see not controlling. We're basically a straight climb. So really all you need to do is pull down with your with your thumbstick or, or your mouse, whatever you're using, and you should be able to mitigate that recoil pretty well. So now that we've seen the recoil patterns, let's go ahead and get in game and see how it handles against bots. Okay, so now that we're back in game here, we're gonna see how this handles against bots. So what I'm gonna do is basically get on this bridge. We're gonna try and get some more CQB engagements with this rifle because that's really what the S12.7 is designed for. So you can see there, the hip fire on this is surprisingly good, especially if you're running a tag laser or something to help with your hip fire spread. I have been very effective with this using hip fire. So the S12.7, let's see, I know there's some guys, here we go. Personal radar, ready for deployment. So you can see there, hip fire, especially if you had a tag laser on it would be a lot better. And it is a two-shot kill, almost at all ranges. Very far ranges, it'll be a three-shot kill with this setup on it. You can do different barrels on it, which will make it a two-shot kill at range as well. Oh, man. I should have tapped that guy twice. So it is, that sh and it is a two-shot kill. I just need to hit him in the head twice. So the Ash 12.7, again, is a Russian CQB battle rifle designed for urban combat by the FSB. So it was a... Request directly for the FSB to get this designed. It was produced 2010, I believe, through present, and was has been in service from 2011 through present. And it does take a 12.7 times 55 millimeter round, which is a 50 caliber round, STS 130. So what that is, basically, it's a lighter 50 caliber round, and what that does is allow it to travel at subsonic speeds, and it impacts targets harder. So this was actually developed similar to the 458 SOCOM, the 50 cal Beowulf, the American rounds like that is very similar to what this is used for, is those close quarters engagements to put targets down. So again, this is used by FSB or FSS, Federal Security Service, from 2011 through present. The mass is six kilograms, length is 1,020 millimeters. And as we said, the cartridge is at 12.7 times oh, 55 STS 130. Let's see, this guy's in here. So again, you saw I did get some hits through the wall there. If you have full metal jackets on, you'll go right through that wall. So if you're somebody that's going to be shooting through walls like that, that's what you want. You can see this thing hits heavy. The cons with this is that the rate of fire is very slow compared to other other rifles, especially the assault rifle or SMG class. You're gonna get you're gonna get destroyed by those at close range. But depending on how your aim is, your TTK time to kill is gonna be faster, being that it is a two shot kill, right? So I have plenty of occasions where it has saved me close quarters just because of the time to kill is so quick. And you can see right there, again, I don't even have a laser on the hip fire, is still pretty good. Enemy at the compound. Target marked. Call for fire. Loader 2 0. Strike away. So it is a get. The action for this rifle is gas operated. Muzzle velocity is 290 to 300 meters per second. The effective range on this, being that it is a CQB battle rifle, effective range would be 100 to 300 meters. So what that translates to is. Oh, there we go. It's 300 to 980 feet is basically your your engagement ranges for this. Now, obviously, I only have a 20 round mag on this, so if you're somebody that may not be the most accurate or you just want more ammo, I would definitely recommend even the 25 rounds makes a big difference. But uh, 30 is more than enough for this rifle. That'll give you that standard assault rifle ammo. You can see this version here has the carrying handle, the Picatinny rail on the carrying handle. So this is one of the versions. There's also a version of the S12.7 that 
does not have a carrying handle. It just has the, the rail system mounted on it. Oh boy. Let's hit fire. Not, not too good right there that time, right? Target marked. Call for fire. Oh boy. <laughs> Definitely in trouble now. Jesus. Okay. All right, so we weren't even using the S12 there. I had to switch to the pistol. So one thing the S12.7, as I said, being a Russian rifle, is designed by a company called TS Kib SOO. So TS KIB SOO. And what that stands for really in Russian is Central Design of Research Bureau in Sporting and Hunting. So that's kind of, that's basically the long, <laughs> the long name of the company that makes it. Um, it's a subsidiary of, of another Russian company, KBP Instrument Design. Instru yeah, Instrument Design. So just, you know, the Russians and their crazy names. And again, of course they had to make a caliber for this rifle. That's again their own version of a 50 cal. So the Russians, obviously, with the AKs, things they have their own versions of the 7.62s, the 5.45s. They do not use standard NATO rounds for just about anything. So they make everything very unique to what the Russian army wants and needs. So again, obviously, this is the Ash 12.7 designed for CQB urban operations. The, this was obviously requested by the FSB for CQB engagements in order to limit civilian casualties. And they wanted a round that will put targets down fast. So that's where you get this 12.7 times 55 STS round. One thing to note if you've been paying attention to these bot videos is that a lot of the uh, enemy bots have the unique outfits for the operators, which we don't have in game yet. So that's obviously a hint of Outfits to come. I know some of you have mentioned that. So let me know what you guys think of the S12.7 based off of the Odin bullpup. So the S12.7 millimeter is also that bullpup rifle designed by the FSB or for the FSB. Have you guys used this? Do you like the Odin at all? Do you not like the Odin? What rifles are you using the best? Also, be sure to give me your recommendations down below for builds that you want. I have. A few coming up, like the L22A1, um, M27 IAR, and some other ones like that, which we've been playing around with. F88C, some additional ones there. Um, MP510. So a lot of a lot of you guys have given me good recommendations. So I'm also going to be doing those. So leave your recommendations below as well. <laughs> so you can see there, this thing just wrecks people. Two shot kill. That's close to medium range. Which is why, if you can make it accurate with the hip fire, it's so deadly. So right there, again, if we had a tack laser on this thing, is is just an animal at, at hip fire. Drop a gunner on. So let me know what you guys think of this build. Leave your recommendations below. Also, be sure if you're if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe and like if you haven't done so already. I know it definitely helps out smaller channels like myself, and we've grown pretty fast here over the past two weeks. So thank you all for that. We're just getting close to 3,000 subscribers as of me making this video. So thank you all so much for that. We should hit 3,000 tonight after I post this. So definitely be sure to interact, leave some comments. I love interacting with you guys, and I'm trying to answer everyone's comments, so if I don't answer, just keep bugging me until I get back to you. But I am Buffner Gaming. This is the Russian bullpup battle rifle known as the Ash 12.7 millimeter. Oh, now they're shooting me. Less than a minute. We're almost out of here. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.